Hello this is part 5 of the Let's Make a Visual Novel series. We are continuing this from part 4 of the series where we covered the blur and shake effects. You can find the link to the playlist down there in the description. Ok you can see the images which I am using. In the previous videos I have told that the characters I am using are generated using stable diffusion and image to image. So if you want to know how to do that refer to the description also. As I have said before I recommend using the Mage Space tool for backgrounds and automatic 111 stable diffusion web UI for characters. Ok so let's go ahead to Visual Studio Code. Today I'm going to show how to do a bounce effect and a zoom effect. Both can be achieved using by using transforms. So here first I will create the transform for bounce then test it. Ok we should make it a point to understand every line of code. Y offset to zero is basically telling the image to stay put at the start. Then ease in for 0.175 seconds and move the image upwards to minus 50. Ease in makes the movement fast initially then slow as compared to linear which is uniform movement throughout. Then ease out and move the image back to the original position. Ease out makes the movement slow then faster. Next we have a second ease in and ease out combo but with minus 20 y value instead of 50. So basically we are having one big jump and one small jump in this transform animation. Two jumps instead of just one makes it look more authentic. And at the end of the transform don't forget to add repeat then one. One specifies the number of repeats if you put two then it will repeat two times but here we are putting one as we don't want any more repeats. Ok so let's test it now. Works well but the bounce is a bit too much. If we want to use this realistically then we should tone down the bounce. Let's use 10 for the big jump and 4 for the small jump here. And try testing it again. Ok it seems to work quite well now. The bounce is much more realistic but kind of small. Ok now we will cover the zoom part. It is actually fairly simple and direct. Create a transform and use the zoom attribute with linear interpolation. With values 1 for the linear interpolation and 1.2 for the zoom. And just adjust the bounce values from before to 20 and 10 for the big and small jump respectively. And let's test it. Yeah so it works great and the zoom mechanic is quite simple. Now the zoom out. Basically the inverse of the zoom in value. Instead of putting 1.2 we will put 0.8 and use the same linear interpolation value as 1. So that results in a zoom out animation and let's try testing it. There you go works great. If you noticed you can see the zoom transform is preserved to the next sprite of the character as well. It is a neat mechanic which rain PY provides. Ah yes so you can refer to the rain PY documentation on the various transforms. 
and utilize them well in creating your own custom transforms which is what we are doing now. Lee would recommend taking a look at this transform list which indicates the order by which the Rain PY engine executes its inbuilt transforms. This is crucial when you are using multiple transforms in a single statement. It can cause confusion if you use multiple custom transforms and you get a mixed up result. So be sure to refer to this order. I will link it in the description. So anyway that's about it for now. Have a good day.